popcorn before I had to go live. Not the case. But now I also like feel kind of dehydrated <laughs> and my mouth feels really dry. <laughs> pros and cons guys, pros and cons. Alright, hello, welcome. This is the bodice to the Hobbit dress. This is what's going to drive me insane for the next week. Because it's lace. The lace is going to be crazy. Anyway, let's start off with, um, I have moved my, whatchamacallit, upload time for my weekly videos back to like 6am my time instead of noon, um, mostly because I, I switched the time originally to see if there would like be any difference in my upload time. I mean, in my analytics, if I uploaded at a different time, no change. So, there aren't very many people on. Makes me wonder if I didn't set this up right. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. What am I saying? Let's just continue. People can watch the replay. Okay. Um, Bodice the Hobbit dress. I also worked on overalls a lot in the past week. I'm a fan of overalls, so if you've seen my Instagram stories, like that's what I've been working on. So let's talk about the overalls first, and then we'll talk about this bodice. Um, I was kind of hoping I could have the overalls finished and like be wearing them in this life because I thought that would be fun. Not, not what happened. So I've been talking about making a pair of overalls out of this dark wash denim for a while. And I'm finally doing it. Um, I'm just really excited because it has like buttons. I think the buttons are really cute um, on it. And then it also has like pockets. So we're getting like a really good functional pair of pants out of these overalls. Like this is the bib. Anyway, right now it's like super wide leg. I don't know if, yeah, you guys can see that. So they're like super wide leg right now and I'm not a big fan of it because I feel like I'm wearing clown pants so I'm thinking about tapering it in. Not much. I still want kind of like a boot cut versus like a skinny cut. Um, but if I taper the leg it'll make it look more proportional. So that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, I still need to put the um, buttons on this side, so it's going to have a button closure on both sides. I don't know how practical that is, and if it ends up being a pain, I'll just sew up one side and call it good. But I'm kind of worried about doing that, um, just because I have a like 12 to 15 inch difference, depending on how much like I'm bloating that day, because yay, IBS. Anyway. Um, I have like a 12 to 15 inch difference between my waist measurement and my hip measurement. So if I do sew up one side, I don't know if I'd be able to get them on. I'm going to have to like see about that one. But yeah, these are my overalls. Um, I need to put the buttons in one side and then I need to figure out the straps for it. I think I want to put buttons at the top of the bib too, just to kind of like tie in the whole rustic thing. Uh, and then it's going to be tapering the leg and putting on a hem and then this project's done. I just haven't done it because I've been focusing on the bodice of the Hobbit dress. Ugh. My nose has been like, it's not really running, but it's just been like doing its things. I think it's like the beginning of allergy season and for like the first, um, what's it called? like five years I lived in Ohio like I didn't get allergies and everyone was like oh if you've had allergies before you moved here then like you're gonna die here uh, and I think I'm just barely starting to get allergies it was nice to live allergy free for a while anyway um yeah so let's talk let's talk about this 
in all its sparkly glory. Like, I wish I had the funds to be able to afford sparkly lace, like, for all my projects. Just, just saying. Alright. I'm gonna periodically eat my popcorn because popcorn is delicious. And I'm hungry. And, yeah. It's looking sharp. Yeah. I sure hope so. Um, I'm trying to make it like a mirror image, but I'm only playing with one half right now because I still have a little bit of fit issues with this that I gotta work out. Um, I ended up padding out my dress form to be my measurements, um, which has been extremely helpful. But at the same time, it's just kind of been like, uh, okay, I don't know how to fit things to my body. Well, the form. Anyway, I'm nervous that if I fit things too closely to the form, it's not going to fit on me. Which I feel like is a valid concern. Um, but, like, I'll show you the fit issues I'm dealing with. Oh, when we turn. So, it's mostly, like, you can see it, like, right here. This bulk needs to come out. And I need to do it through this princess seam. But I don't think it's an even amount of bulk on both sides, and, like, I can't do it through the shoulder, and it, it's just, it's a mess. Um, and it's just not, nothing's going well. So anyway, I've got to figure out how to take that out. Anyway, let's move you back. Let's talk about the pretty side. Um... I have decided in the two weeks that I have to attempt to make something for the Foundations Revealed competition because the full dress will not be done, but possibly I could get like the bodice and like the sleeves and like a diff an alternative skirt for it done. So the thought was um, like the Evening Star, which is think like a representation of like a land that they all like travel to um so like when they get on the boats at the end of the hobbit and like all go away i think they're all going towards the evening star whatever that land is um but like in the movies it's symbolized by the necklace that arwen gives to aragorn uh, and so I wanted to like make a depiction of like what that would look like like what the personification of that star would look like. So I'm kind of playing with that idea and going with like very elvish kind of themes and like we'll we'll see what happens. I'm like not holding my breath um, that I'm going to like actually have the energy to do this, but we're, we're gonna try. Oh, excuse me. Okay. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. So which means that I have one week to finish the bodice and one week to make the skirt. I don't think it's going to take me a full week to make the alternative skirt. Um, but I've also got to like hope and pray it's a warm day and go and get good pictures in those two weeks as well. So hope and pray I can actually make it because that would be nice. Um, and then I wouldn't feel like such a failure for not getting the full dress done in time. Anyway. So yeah. I don't know if you guys have like ever, I don't have a lot to talk to you guys about today, so I'm just going to start rambling. Hope you don't mind. It's going to be a shorter life. Anyway, um, I don't know if you guys have like worked with beaded laces before, but they usually come on like a mesh background. So you can either use them like as a whole piece as they were designed, or you can cut them up um, and use them individually, like different motifs in it individually, which is what I'm doing here. Like, this is not how this pattern was originally designed, but it's how it's best fitting on the bodice. So, yeah. I feel like I'm just rambling. Anyway, when you do um, a bodice like this, where you have a contrasting lace on top of um, a contrasting base and lace, um, you kind of like need to very carefully like stitch around everything and make sure you secure the beads nicely and then like trim away all the excess netting so that way it doesn't shift the color at all yeah this is gonna be a while 
like I have to, I need to figure out the fit issue um probably put the sleeves on finalize the lace and get it all sewn in, on in like a week to meet this deadline so I'm gonna just like anxiously eat popcorn because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it but um yeah that's my plan so mm. Mm. I went to the craft store today you talked about the inspiration for the bodice yet? No. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll come back to the bodice. Went to the craft store today. And last week, we talked about how I didn't know what to do for, like, Bayorn's cabin and, like, when they talk about the florals and things. So I saw that they were doing, like, a sale for the fake flowers. And then when it went, and I was just like, oh, this is still going to be, like, more expensive than I want to pay. And then... I went over to the garlands and I found this. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it up and glue it on and it's like long. Like it's definitely gonna be able to fill around Bayorn's cabin as well as that empty space that I talked about that's gonna be underneath the um, elf door and the barrel river. Um, I'll be able to fill both spaces with that. And it looks cute and springy and I'm kind of excited. It'll also give a really good contrast to Mirkwood, which is really like dark and spooky-ish. Um, and then like bright and springy. So I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy about that contrast. Anyway, inspiration for the bodice. Um, I don't really have any. So when I was originally planning this project, I knew that I wanted a nice full skirt didn't intend on making it as big and full as it is but I think it'll look great um but I the original idea was to do kind of a sunset ombre so to have it be like a light blue then a like pink orange red and then fade into a navy was the original original idea and then I realized that that would not be practical so then the second idea was to have it just be like a blue and then just fade it into navy. So I originally wanted this to be navy. The dye did not work out. Like you guys, you guys will see. Is it the Hobbit dress video next? Looking at the calendar. Yeah, so you guys will see on Monday the failure that was the dye. Um, and like that video will explain all of that, but I wanted this to be navy. It's not navy. It is a really light purple. Um, so that was kind of my interpretation of it. So yeah, but I always like, I figured I would just, so that was the other thing. Like I knew I wanted some sort of like lace and beaded stuff. Um, but I thought I was originally just going to put it on the shoulders and then have, like, stars or, like, sequins glued, like, different sporadically throughout the bodice, maybe in, like, constellation forms. Um, but now that I'm dealing with this, um, it's a little bit different. Right? You're special. So right now it's just to make it really pretty and really sparkly. So I found the lace, um... And it was expensive and I had a good coupon which is the only reason I come I bought it um, but yeah I knew like once I saw this lace I knew that I had to have it for the dress um, so right now I'm just trying to figure out how to like put it all together it can be disappointing not to stick to the original plan but what you've done so far looks fabulous you have no idea when it comes to not sticking to an original plan um, but yeah I'm I'm actually getting excited about this project again like this kind of like side quest that I've put myself on to like make something for the foundations rebuild competition it has made me super excited about like starting the full dress again and when I found that garland it just made me even more excited so hopefully I will have more to like share with you guys next week on being like hey the bodice is done and look what I did to the actual skirt Hopefully. We'll see. If I could figure, um, finish Bayorn's cabin over the weekend, that would be cool. I have like a popcorn kernel stuck in my teeth. 
that's cool all right i feel like that's all the update that i have for you guys because it's just been working on this bodice thoughts comments concerns really funny off-color jokes no let's not do off-color jokes really funny jokes Have you made any progress on Merkwood or is it still on hold? So Merkwood is actually done. If you look at last week's live, um, like you can see, um, what's it called? You can see what I've done with Merkwood because I took you through the tour of the skirt. So did I draft the bodice? I think that's what the words, where the comments go. Ah. Um, I used the Lima dress pattern as the base for it. So actually the same pattern that I used to make this dress is what I used for the bodice. Um, I just changed the neckline on it to be a little bit more of that. I know that's not really as dramatic as I thought it was now that I'm looking at it through a camera lens. But to be that like wider neck. So. Yeah. I'm currently playing with the idea of like these viney things um, depending on how many I have left after I'm done with the bodice like running them down the sleeves or possibly into the bodice I'm currently playing with that idea I don't know if I'll like actually like it but I might also just incorporate some of this lace into Rivendell because the bodice is supposed to be really elven so if I put that really elven lace in Rivendell I think that would look really but we'll see. Rivendell gives me anxiety. So we'll see. Anyway, any more questions, comments, funny jokes? I'm really hoping someone like sends a funny joke because that would be great. I'm just gonna awkwardly eat popcorn until you all get off. Just kidding. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. Kind of a short life, but that's okay. We can have long lives and we can have short lives. It's just a balance. Plus it gives me more time to go make dinner. So, oh wait, why has Sauron never had a good egg fried rice? Because one does not simply bring walk into Mordor. <laughs> I like it. I liked it. That was a really good joke. Okay. Now I'm signing off. Bye, guys.